I write the poetry of cities every day. It's my discipline. Yeah, well, Carl, um, after being uh, yeah, for such a long time in music, mm. how do you find ways to keep yourself challenged uh, musically? Uh, by working with my partner, Rick. That's a, that's a, that's a real challenge, that is. <laughs> a, he's, uh, he's always on the go, he's always thinking and always reinventing and pushing and striving for something better. And um, I love working with him. Yeah, that, that's really at the root of it. Okay, so if he wasn't there, there wouldn't be uh, music maybe or...? Maybe not, no, maybe not. Maybe would have stopped a long time ago, I don't know. So he's the most inspiring musician I've ever worked with. Okay, and how do you complement each other, do you think? Whew, how do we complement each other? That's a really good question. How do we complement each other? I think we cover areas we, that the other, the other one doesn't. And I think that we naturally do things at our extremes that the other one doesn't do. And then it, there's somewhere in the middle that we cross over. And Rick has an understanding of what I do so that he can help direct it <laughs> to something, into something that's useful for us. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give an example of uh, the, the extremes you both try to bring in? Uh, well, I, you know, I've, uh, I write words every day. You know, here's my notebooks and I write, this, I write the poetry of cities every day. That's my discipline. And I collect words and I've got tons of these books. And without that, uh, uh, Underworld would have no words. And uh, Rick spends most of every day in the studio exploring sounds and software and machines and experimenting with the possibilities that the equipment can, uh, can open up to us. And I just don't have that. You know, I just don't have that kind of focus. So I'd just rather go for a walk or something. Mm -hmm. and, and so the two extremes, with these are the things that we do. And then we meet somewhere in the middle and we both write and we exchange ideas and Rick gets, has a sense of where this is going and starts to encourage it in directions. Hmm. What, what is the poetry of, of, of a city for you? Where you're now in Amsterdam? And yeah, well, every city has a voice and it talks and, uh, and, um, and there's a rhythm to it. And um, I go out there and I listen and, and I start to document the fragments of the city. And um, <clears throat> that's what I've been doing for about 22 years now. And does that, 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 uh, yeah, that, that atmosphere of a city, does it only find its way back in, into lyrics or, or maybe as well into the music? Um, does it find its way into the music? I don't know about the music I th because you know, the music comes from a lot of places. It comes from the roots of what we've been listening to ever since we were kids. It comes from something inside which is subconsciously soaking up the, the, the sounds around us in, in, the, in the day. And it comes from being inspired by contemporary music and music that we're constantly listening to. So there's a combination of all those things that, that uh, fire up a desire as this sort of something starts to talk to you and say, this is what we want to make. For example, on this record, um, I don't know about Rick, but I started listening to my old records uh, that I had back in, in the early 80s that were early German electronic records from the 70s and uh, just just really enjoying them and not knowing what to do w mm. about it and then starting to write tracks that were inspired by them and, and gradually seeing that there was a, a parallel between con some contemporary sounds and what we were into back then and um, and that was that was really encouraging I think at the time thinking Wow, oh, maybe there's a kind of zeitgeist going on here that we're tapping into. And that often happens when you go, you go still and quiet and just follow your intuition. Because like the fragments of the city, we're continually being given information from all over the place that's directing us. Um, and following that direction is, and listening to, the, listening to the directions that's the hardest point sometimes because we're so busy running around like headless chickens.